So I was telling you about the, uh, the motor workbooks. Uh, and inside that, there is a note that talks about the panels inside. Hang on a second, I've got to put this away. So it's geek time. So you know, if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know I love getting in there and finding um, numbers and handwritings and stickers that were on when they put the car together. And I think I showed you one. It's, uh, I'll show you two of you again. I just, just finding these is cool. You can see the sticker here. It says this, this remains with this section remains with the car. That's the, for when they actually put the doors in. And then I think you may remember when I just, the other door had actually had the, uh, the vapor panel on there. And I got all geeky. I got all geeky on that too. It's just cool to find those kind of things. Well, inside the motor book, the goal here is to give you everything to put the car back to like it was when it came off the off the uh, factory floor, including including markings and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also, it helps you tell if your car's original or not. Now, if, if you if you replace a panel and then you got to fake the numbers on it, great. But uh, that has to be documented that you 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 documented that you reproduce those. Um, but in here, it actually mentioned that the lower deck, or the, the rear deck, and I'll show it to you right there, actually should have numbers or signatures on it. Now, I haven't checked this out yet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you with me while we go do that. Um, and so I'm gonna, yeah, so I'm going to take you underneath there, and we're going to slide underneath. Now, again, you can't do much without these tops off. I've already taken the, the side top off. The other one's off. Now, what we've got to try to do is squeeze our, squeeze my six foot one slightly um, larger build <laughs> into the back of this car. I've got the... Okay. So I have the light down there already, and we're going to try to shimmy our way into that little cubby there uh, and take a look and see if, uh, I think I'll go around the other way, see if we can actually see any markings. And again, I like documenting those. I've said that a billion times. Every part I took off, if it's got numbers on it, I have a snap sh snapshot or a video. But there's the back panel. You still have work to do back there. I've got to, uh, that bracket is for the courtesy light in the back and it actually has a little bit of rust and corrosion on it and so I'm going to pull that off eventually it's riveted on so that's not fun but we'll drill those out pull them off and see if I can get them fixed and somewhere here in my parts I actually have a new lens for the light but all right so we're going to try to sneak back in here and you're probably going to see it before I do but up here in this upper deck oops Loud noise. Up here on this upper deck, there's sometimes there's numbers and writing, and I haven't looked yet. So let's see what we can find. Oh yeah. So those are that's hard to decipher. So it actually is on here. So you can see it. It may be in A36. What I'm probably gonna do is take some snapshots of that. Uh, and then we'll see. It looks so good back here. Here's something cool. You see the putty back there? They're in the car. Uh, um, anyway, that's kind of cool. I'm going to take some shots of that. That's the only one I see back there. I'm going to take some shots of that and flip it around. It might be like A36. Um, could be just someone's initials. They said that sometimes the writing doesn't mean anything. Sometimes it's a part number. Sometimes it's an assembly date. Or sometimes it's just someone's initials. Um, they said they have not found a, a reasonable uh, explanation or, or a solid idea of what those might be. Anyway, cool. We just discovered that together. That's cool.